Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is constantly concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. It's the time of the season. Of the season. When we love runs high. Ivan Bundy's our guest. Give it to me. Final segment with him. I'm going to go right back to your phone calls asking you what is your line in the sand. John, Daniel, Alvin, Mike, Darren. We're going to go to all of you. And then I've got a bunch of other geopolitical news and police state news I haven't gotten to yet. Now, Harry Reid said last Thursday night, we wrote an article about it. DrudgeReport.com picked it up. Friday, it was one of the biggest stories ever on InfoWars. Because people are interested in this information. Uh, just saying that Clive and Bundy and his supporters are domestic terrorists. Then he went on an NBC affiliate out of Vegas this weekend, a show called What's Your Point, and called them violent domestic terrorist wannabes. So now it's not that they're terroristic, it's they are terrorist. Clearly defamation, but this is part of the rebranding. You don't want your kids being taught 2 plus 2 equals 5 in Common Core? Or taught how to put a condom on when they're 6 years old? You're a terrorist. You don't want open borders, you're a terrorist. You don't want to pay for banker bailouts, you're a terrorist. You don't get in your free speech zone and shut up, you're a terrorist. Let's go ahead and go to this clip because uh, this will give Mr. Bunny a chance to respond. He's not heard this new clip. Here it is. If there were ever an example of people who uh, were domestic, violent, terrorist wannabes, these are the guys. And I think that we should call it that way. 
we have a situation where uh, I think that it's really untoward. Would it be appropriate if Jim Rogers, owner of this station, got behind in his taxes or had a problem with the Federal Communications Commission to station around here when people tried to collect taxes or to do something uh, that was in keeping with the law uh, and surround this place with armed people? Of course not. And remember, not only did Bundy do what I've just said, there are two valid court orders, a permanent injunction, get the cattle off the land, yeah, that's enough. The fees. Yeah, uh, federal courts ruling on federal land grabs. You have another federal ruling in Nevada from the year before saying there's a criminal conspiracy. Headline, judge says BLM involved in criminal conspiracy in Nevada, Infowars.com, with links to AP, Reuters, you name it. In fact, we'll scroll down. I'll give you the name of that judge uh, that is uh, in the article. In his opinion, United States versus the state of Hague, U.S. District Court Judge Robert C. Jones reveals that after late Nevada rancher E. Wayne Hage, uh, and then it just breaks down the whole criminal conspiracy against him. So go read that for yourself. Uh, going back to Cliven Bundy, uh, Cliven, would it be appropriate for the TV station owner if every other TV station had been put out of business in the state because of special taxes on the TV station, would it be appropriate for him to say, First Amendment, I'm not going to pay these taxes that, 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 that are A, unconstitutional, B, selectively enforced, and C, that are designed to bankrupt me? I mean, I guess you should, like the other 52 families, just go bankrupt and go crawl in the ditch with you and your wife and die. Or go to Vegas and go on welfare. Wouldn't that be the proper thing for you to do, sir? is to let the BLM point guns at you and let the BLM beat people up and let them put people in free speech zones? Isn't that the honorable thing to do, Mr. Bundy? <laughs> well, it is my choice, and I guess that's one thing that I can say for America. I could have done those things. I could have done those things 20 years ago, but I didn't do those things. And uh, uh, these people that were behind me was behind me because I didn't do those things, and they was behind me because they was tired of having those things done to my neighbors, and uh, all across the United States were being abused by this government. Big government with unlimited power. Unlimited power. Unlimited power is the word for what they're exercising here. It's not constitutional. It's not within our state sovereignty, not within our state laws. And Harry, but Reed, I, I can't imagine he keeps us out talking and acting like this. If there's anything that would represent terrorists against the, this government, it would have to be those bureaucrats with those big guns uh, putting uh, in force and like a foreign army against we the people. That seems to be terrorist to me. And it's actually terrifying. And it was terrifying to those uh, men and women that stood in line and marched towards those guns. It was terrifying with their courage and uh how they had that much courage, I don't know, but they, they did have the courage to do that. You remember, Clive and Lundy wasn't in the front line. He was sitting over on the stage waiting for this to happen and very uh, concerned with what might happen. So, you know, I, did, I can't say I had the courage. They had the courage, and they was doing it. They was facing the United States Army uh, gun or the bureaucrats, which is what's the difference. Is it Rockwell's Army within the people? Is that any different than Brockle's army against, say, a foreign nation? It's, there should be a lot of difference. One is constitutional, the other is pure tyranny. Mr. Bundy, we saw the feds uh, back down under the, under, uh, the overwhelming uh, righteousness of the people. But in closing, how do you expect Harry Reid to come back at you in the future? What do you expect them to pull now? that he's rightfully saying they cannot allow this to stand. They have to keep us intimidated. They have to put paramilitary forces out there to make sure that you know that they are in control of everything so that their despotism is complete. They have to have their occupying armies uh, basically squatting on top of us when they take the pension funds, when they take the Social Security, when they take the military benefits, when they fully break the nation, which is coming up very soon under Homeland Security. That's their job. They they can't have the revolution start with a bunch of cowboys and a bunch of men, women, and children. It's too iconic. It's too wholesome. It's too good. So how do they destroy you? How do they defeat you and show the world how pathetic Americans are 
How do they do that without having it backfire on them? What do you expect them to do? I expect them to blow something up, and maybe even read will attack his own offices and then blame it on you. I study these criminals and their criminology. That's what I think you better watch out for. But they can't do that because of people like you and, uh, uh, you know, talk holes and people, people, you, your, your integrity and, the, and your uh, business integrity will not allow that to happen. And that's why you're so important. We, the people, are important because we're not going to let it happen. And you can see that we we're ready to march with our uh, faith and courage. And militia is a back in us, and the militia is going to help back we the people. We hope our county sheriffs will back us, and uh, you know that's as, that's as much energy and power as we need. So, Harry, if you got something to do, get with it. We're ready. And that's the bottom line. First, they're going to try to demonize you in the press uh, and glorify all of their tyranny. But I mean, what does your gut tell you? How do you think they'll come after you? I don't think they'll kill you out of hand, shoot you in the back, uh, even though they'd love to, um, because that would make you a martyr. How do you think they're going to come after you? Well, you know what I think? I think Harry's going to jump up and down, and I think America, uh, Congress, is going to say, hey, Harry, you're you're out of whack. We, you know, you're, I have enough faith in those people to think that there's enough of them that's going to say, Harry, we're not going to stand. You can't act like that and represent us. And I don't know what the president of the United States is going to do. It's hard to hard to tell. Uh, the state of Nevada, Utah, Arizona, Wyoming, California, all these western states. I think they're going to say we're we're this is enough. And let me tell you who supports me more than anybody else, even my local community. When we have a get together here, like we had last Friday, you know who's here? The people from Pennsylvania, New York, the Eastern Coast are representing more than my, even my neighboring uh, town. But those people are bringing their wives and they're, they're shaking my hand and I'm hugging their women. But they're, not, they're not people from the West, they're people from the East. And the, the emails are coming from all over the world. The world is watching us. They want to find out if we really do have liberty and freedom here in the United States. And they, they want to know if we really have a constitution uh, that's been inspired by our our God. They want to know these things, and it's our job, and your job as a broadcaster to, to let the world know. And that's how come you're so important in, uh, in my life and in the life of the American. Well, Cliven, you're important in what your sons and daughters standing up with those great Americans is what's important. Uh, but I, I, uh, you know, really, it's the audience we have to thank. Yeah, it is. It's we the people. That's for sure. It's we the people. Well, when I bring up the false flags, that's really all they've got is doing something to try to frame us, doing something to try to blame us for. But uh, the example that you've set uh, will continue to grow. And here's the good news. They just had a meeting this weekend with over 50 state legislators moving to create a larger movement to, to take back the state land from the feds. And that's a very popular idea. So this can really backfire on the establishment on so many fronts. And here's my final point. The globalists better understand, this is not Russia, this is not other countries where they've gotten away with this. If they start a civil war, we're going to take the country back and we're going to prosecute the bosses that gave the orders. Our enemy is not even the feds or the police that'll follow illegal orders, though they, they will be dealt with, obviously, unfortunately. It's the people that, that spun the web, gave the orders. They're not going to be safe in Switzerland or Luxembourg or London or Russia or Israel or in Asia. The globalists, when this is all said and done, are going to be brought to justice under a court of law. Final comments on that, Mr. Bundy. Well, you know, I, I have no way to predict what's going to happen. All I know is this is a world... So the world is concerned, the world is watching us, and I think the world is ready to defend us. And I, and one thing I have learned, that each individual in this world is very important, and they're individuals, and they do need to be able to exercise their conscience and have some freedoms and liberty. And our Constitution is a Constitution that is framed by our Heavenly Father for that purpose.
to give each individual freedom. And now that will happen. Very well said. Well, it comes down to this. It's civil disobedience. Even if you didn't have...